Intense moments throughout day 18 of the search for two convicted killers in upstate New York. Police believe they're hot on the trail of David Sweat and Richard Matt. Now the search is now focused on a heavily wooded area near a hunting camp about 20 miles from the prison. Now we're at north and west in Franklin County. DNA from both escapees was found on objects at a cabin that had been broken into just a few days ago. Our Dora Scheidel joins us live from Owl's Head tonight with more. Dora. Ever since police discovered DNA evidence linked to the escaped convicts at a seasonal camp here in Owl's Head, they have been following up on every possible lead. Last night, there was a reported sighting on Titus Mountain, which is about five miles north of here. And earlier this afternoon, a tip led them three and a half miles south to Mountain View. And we were there just as the search started really heating up. Within a matter of moments, the mood changed in Mountain View, New York. Hundreds of law enforcement cars sped by and descended on what appeared to be a wooded area near a local restaurant called Belly's, while state troopers created a perimeter with strict roadblocks. Been pulled over like three or four times, asked us to take our helmets off. We're asking, are we local? What are we doing? Where are we going? Certainly not what Marcele Kapazinski is used to at his family's quiet hunting camp. I came here for vacation, but it's more disturbing than Brooklyn, New York. A little scary, a little exciting, um, but it's definitely brought Mountain View on the map. Mary Bratt lives here all year long, just down the road. There's a lot of railroad grades and logging roads that are accessible to anyone that wants to walk through them to get from point A to point B. Uh, and that's what I personally thought these prisoners were doing. As multiple helicopters circled overhead, there was a sense of hope that this may be the end of the road for Richard Matt and David Sweat. I hope uh, there's an end to pretty soon. I hope they get these two guys dead or alive. That's what we're thinking now. But it was just another false alarm in this tireless manhunt in the mountains. With more than a thousand law enforcement officers out here, the excitement grows quickly when someone believes they've spotted the fugitives. But all of this chasing has not led to the capture that we've all been waiting for. But I wouldn't expect the chasing to end anytime soon. Police are asking everyone in the area to remain vigilant, report anything suspicious, no matter how insignificant it may appear. Reporting live from Owl's Head, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt, back to you. Thank you, Dora. Looking forward to more coverage tomorrow.